Hello, welcome back. Today's video is for a Libra viewer. So if you're ready, let's get this party started. Let's shuffle these up. These are an Oracle deck. Um, a map Oracle deck. One of my favorite people, Colette Baron Reed deck. Again, this is for a viewer, subscriber, friend, Libra. It is a seven card spiral reading. This one is my favorite, unless somebody asks for something specific. So I'm going to shuffle these up thinking about my Libra friend. If anything falls out, it is important. A little bit more. And then we will lay them out and go through them one by one, individual. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Hopefully you can see the spiral and we will go through these individual one by one and this one will be last and I have brought to the table for the very end we will shuffle and pull a card to see what the tarot deck has for you my friend. Card in position one. This card represents the energy currently around you. Flying. Let's look closer. And again, this is what is going on around you right now. You have the power to see things from a higher perspective. If you were a bird flying high in the air, what would you see? When you soar above life's challenges and opportunities, a new perspective becomes available. Today, my friend, you have invisible wings that allow you to swiftly bring your circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose. This is a sign that your waiting is over, that all your hard work has paid off, and the things that you hoped for are no longer beyond your scope. You have the ability to reach for the stars and find that one with your name on it. Spread your wings and soar. The angels are waiting for you. Card in position two. This card reveals the underlying energy. And it may come as a surprise as it can also reveal hidden qualities within your subconscious. Let's get closer. Making a choice reversed. This is not the time to abdicate responsibility for your life. Letting others choose for you does not make things easier. 
Don't compromise because you're afraid of facing the consequences of your choices. Even if you've opted for a difficult path, you can always choose another in the future. There is great power in reclaiming your ability to choose. No one can take that away from you no matter what. Don't give your power away. If you're willing to be rigorously honest with yourself about your motives behind your choices, you may see the need to change things. You can change course and choose another route. Just be willing to clean up what you've left behind. Card in position three. This card shows any influences that are coming into the situation. This card is going to be a good indication of what you'll need to deal with. Wizard of Awareness. Your soul knows best. Be still and observe. The Wizard of Awareness says, Mindfulness is about being observant and remaining neutral about what goes on in the world around you. This, in, this applies to the environment within you as well. If you struggle inside yourself, Stepping into an observer position, a position gives you a new, powerful perspective that neutralizes any discomfort or overexcitement. You have the capacity to see things clearly now, unencumbered by opinion or desire. Wearing the world like a loose garment requires you to adopt a sense that nothing that happens to you is personal. People come and people go. Experiences evolve from one state to another in a continual shifting and change. No, <clears throat> no matter how much you want things to stay the same. The Wizard of Awareness asks you to give up your need to define or limit what you're experiencing now. It's all good, my friend. Let it be and watch the miracle unfold without any direct influences from you. Card in position four. This card brings any potential obstacles to your awareness. This isn't necessarily a negative card, as obstacles can sometimes be fun things that delay you for good reasons. Wishing well. Desire is the most important impulse for creating life. I wish the glare would go. Let's see if we can move it. There we go. Just moving it a little bit out of position. Now you're seeing the relationship between desire and inspiration and sensing the moment of truth when you feel the inception of new life. It is an aha moment when everything makes sense. Perhaps you recognize a soulmate or are conceiving a baby or an idea. The Wishing Well card awakens you to the presence of unseen forces that enable new beginnings. Divine intelligence activates the field of possibilities where new life is co-created in a magical way. Neither you nor anyone else can know how or why this happens. It just does. 
to that end, you can't control the process of growth. Rather, you must step aside to be a channel for higher forces and relinquish any attachment to how this new creation should appear or when. Form your intention and take action by dropping the coin into the wishing well. Then trust in spirit, prepare to be amazed. Card in position five. This card gives you an overview from a spiritual perspective. And it often reflects on the card or the, or the meaning of position two. And that is making a choice in reverse. Let's look closer. Cleaning house. Moved it slightly out of the glare. Brought this one back down into position. When you see the cleaning house card in a reading, it's time to declutter your life. Get rid of unwanted things in your physical home and release what you no longer want or truly need. Is there any, unfi is there any unfinished business you should address? Thoughts, memories, and emotional baggage must be swept out of your house as well. Your conscious must be clear for you to move freely in the world. Celebrate a spring cleaning and feel the freedom as you make way for a much better, for much better things. Look at what you've resisted. Let me do this part over again, my friend. I became a little tongue-tied. Celebrate a spring cleaning and feel the freedom as you make way for much better things. Look at what you've re resisted discarding and be honest about its value. Be honest, my friend, and clean house. Card in position six. This card offers a course of action or shows the energy of the type of action that would benefit you most right now. Magic stream reversed. Let's look closer. In a reversed position, the magic stream card represents swimming against the current. There are times when effort and sheer willpower result in victory and celebration. But my friend, this isn't one of those times. You cannot force inspiration and you can't manufacture creativity lest you borrow too heavily from another's idea. Neither can you make someone love you or orchestrate a series of events that might place you in a more favorable position. Now is the time to drop the trying. Thank you. It always enhances at the right moment. The clock knows. Now is the time to drop the trying and jump into the stream and float. Immerse yourself in the experience of being fully present with whatever is true for the moment. You'll never step in the same river twice anyways. Card in position seven. This card 
presents a possible future outcome in relation to the energies around you right now. Protecting treasure. Although this is a time of great risk, know that at a fundamental level, you are able to move forward safely and securely. The proverbial nest egg is safe and sound no matter the fluctuations in the world. Guardian angels and other guides are whispering to you, making you aware of their protective presence. Your loyalty is an important theme now. Nurture that which you hold dear. This is a good time to strengthen bonds of friendship and ensure their integrity. If you feel tested right now, know that a true and loyal heart always achieves its aim. Take refuge under your angel's wing. You are not alone and you have no need to fear. Embrace your courage. Let's step back and look at the card that fell out while we were shuffling. That is super important. Eleven. Reversed. Balancing act. I'm trying to get it so you can see that one. This is a time when it's important to address the areas of your life where there is discord. Are you fixated on getting your own way? Are you obsessed with one thing, neglecting essential matters that require your attention? Taking your own inventory is a necessary step towards rebalancing your life. And it's the only way to reach an equitable solution. Adjust yourself to the conditions of the environment that you, that you have no control over. And balance will come much more easily. If there is to be fairness, it must come from you. Let's see what the Tarot has to say. Shuffle them up. One more. Whoops, I'm making a mess. See if these have anything they want to say to you, my friend. Sometimes they have a lot. Sometimes nothing. You may be, ooh, I was going to say you may be exactly where you need to be. Cultivation reversed. Let's see what it says. The Five of Shields in reverse warns growth is too rapid. Though the plant matures, it will not reach fruition. I hope that makes sense. And... If you would like more from the reading, maybe you have more questions, uh, send me a send me an email or leave me a comment. Let's fix this. Before I end the video, I wanted to 
consult some other things about the five of uh, shields reversed. The five of shields can also represent a, um, a time and it is something that takes, it is the slowest card, the slowest speed. And, um, what I am seeing is maybe in April. So maybe next year, next April, between the 21st and the 30th. I don't know if it's next year, five years. But um, I feel April is a good Maybe April is a good month for you. I don't know. I am super curious if that means anything to you. And if it does, my friend, please let me know. And again, if you would like more anything, anything, I have other decks as well. Please let me know. I am here for you. And with that, if you just need somebody to listen, I'm here for you. Let's end this video here. You guys, if you like this type of content, I hope you give my video a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I hope you have the best day ever. Before you leave, check out my membership levels. I offer four of them now. Um, yeah, if you would like your own reading, uh, yeah, send me an email or leave me a comment. Again, I'll leave all that in the description box down below. Have the best day ever. I'll see you in the next video.